major city being Hobart, so it does make it a little bit harder to get. This morning as it was yesterday afternoon, so we've got to pick our times to, to do these things. Um, and the girls are after a, a survey, so I'm just going to put them on top of a survey right now. Um, and it should be all good. Um, but uh, yeah, going off to Richmond with the jail on the bridge, so it should be a, uh, a wonderful day. Right, the girls have headed off for petrol and I'm off to meet the rest of the group. So I've just been pointing out to the guys very quickly that uh, over to my right there is a, uh, a place called Risdon Vale. Now uh, Risdon Vale is, uh, is a little famous for the wrong reason. It, uh, it houses a, uh, a very notorious um, and just a, an evil individual in Martin Bryant. Uh, Martin Bryant uh, was responsible for a mass killing um, with rifles at, uh, at Port Arthur many years ago. And uh, so that's over in there, it's Risdendale Prison. And uh, it, uh, it, caused a, uh, it caused a massive uh, upheaval in Australian law where uh, the gun laws for Australia absolutely changed because of the act of Martin Bryant. Um, he killed, I think he killed about 36 people uh, in that one act. It was uh, pretty, pretty horrendous. It was women, children, uh, just, there was no, just seemed no rhyme, rhyme or reason why he actually killed the people that he did. But uh, yeah, so Martin Bryant is in Risdon Vale. Bit more uh, beautiful road. Told the guys we're going to take the straight way, and this is the uh, the straightest way to Richmond. It's very curvy though. I don't think there's a straight bit of road in in uh, Tasmania apart from the Midlands Highway, which we uh, met at the uh, Amart at earlier. Well, we've got the uh, the curvy way. The, uh, the GPS took me the curvy way, which I like, but I'm. I know that the, uh, my colleagues back there were not real keen to take the curvy way, but that's all right. It's a nice road, and, and we're taking our time. I've uh, just got a phone call from Greg, and uh, he's done a uh, he's done a bearing, uh, rear bearing on his uh, or the drive bearing on his uh, Spider. They've, they've at least got a part sourced. Uh, how long that will take to get that out and put it back in, I'm not sure. Um, I assume that will be bloody expensive um, so we're waiting to find out uh, whether that's game over for Greg with regards to being with us or whether it's uh, and then he'll just you know eventually end up with us back at the boat or whether it's uh, just game over for a few days I'm hoping it's just game over for a few days uh, but I want to find a way of getting him to where we need to go to um, can't just get in a car and drive because he's uh, fully disabled um, so therefore he's got to use hand controls and I don't think you can get a hand controlled uh, vehicle in, uh, in Tassie and he can't just strap him on the back of someone's bike because he's got to have somewhere to put his feet and hook in that uh, they stay in and I talked to him last night and apparently he's not keen for me to wrap bloody you know, thousand mile an hour tape around his, around his feet to hold him on. But uh, yeah, we'll figure something out for the guy and, uh, and get him moving again. So we're arriving in uh, Richmond, which is uh, historic Richmond. Now, you see there, 1824, and for our people that are uh, living in Europe and America, you sort of go, oh, 1824 is not that old, but Australia as a, uh, a European settled country is, uh, is not that old. I think we're only just
Okay, so we did the uh, Richmond Bridge. We noticed that this little school, which I won't take any pictures of. A uh, little school there, which had uh, a BMX track, like ride your push bike around a track. And the kids at uh, morning tea are riding their push bikes at lunchtime or during their break. What a great idea! What a great idea! And uh, so that's a really good thing. What a, what a great school! Really good school. All right, so we're heading up into Richmond now. <coughs> Another set of steps being built there. But uh, you're heading up into Richmond. <coughs> a little bit of a bit of a frog in the throat there. I'm going to have a look at uh, at Richmond itself. We're hoping to find the jail. <coughs> <coughs> oh, so that the last lingering effects of that little head cold that I had, and uh, but we'll get there. So if we go around the back here, we should be able to get a car park behind the Richmond Jail. So, we're hoping that that's the case. <coughs> here we go. Woohoo! Thanks, peeps. Beautiful old buildings. That looks like a motorcycle helmet down there. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, plenty of parks. Oh, no, disability ones out of action. Hello, down there, down the back. Thanks, peeps. <coughs> Yay! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Good cop park. Excellent. We're in. Factory and the Tassie wind has got up. Uh, 
street. So it's uh, making things a little bit fun. Um, but this is the uh, the Wicked Cheese Factory. Beautiful, magic little place. Really, really, really do like it. I'm going to park in this one. So, wicked cheese, we're here. Beauty. cheeses where we ate way way more than we should have that place is awesome so it's the wicked cheese company at richmond are outstanding i'll put a little link to that and down below um, so yeah that wind is really howling now so um, the girls will be having a bit of fun up there two up it looks like uh Alice on the back there she'll uh she'll be hanging on for grim death pretty soon so, uh, yeah, had way more than we should have for lunch. We like that sort of thing. And now we're taking a bit of a back road through from Richmond. Um, and we're going to head across the, uh, the big bridge. Get some happy snaps there without having to worry about a big group. Alrighty, so uh, see you then. So we're just coming back in from Richmond and uh, spotted this uh, lovely chalet. And uh, vineyards on the side of the road. They're uh, very nice there. Um, I think it's called Puddle Duck. I don't know what their uh, I don't know what their wines are like, but they're um, actually no, it's not Puddle Duck. It's uh, a different one, but it's uh, pretty big. It's a nice little vineyard there. Where are we? What's it called? It is called the. Coal River Farm. There you go. That's uh, it's quite nice. There's uh, plenty of vineyards in the joint. All right, we're going to go and uh, take off over to uh, the uh, take off over to the Hobart Power Sports and check out how uh, young Greg's getting along with his uh, with his wheel bearing. Hopefully he's uh, all done. See him there soon.